Hi there Cancer, how are you guys doing? I really hope that this video finds you well. Welcome back to the channel. It's me Anissa from Leader Stereo. This is going to be your love messages. It's a general reading, so the rules might get reversed or it may or may not resonate with you. And if this reading resonates with you, there's going to be a link down in the description box below for a personal ring with me, okay? So in this reading, Cancer, it's going to be a you versus them format. I'm going to be looking at your energy and your challenges. And I'm also going to be pulling some past, present, future card from both parties. And we're going to clarify them. <clears throat> and I'm also going to be pulling some advice card for you by the end of the session, okay? For my fellow Cancer Risings out there, I don't know if there's any Cancer Rising who watches this video though, but how was the full moon in 8th house? <laughs> for me, it was actually kind of like quite liberating, this full moon in Aquarius. Okay, what are the challenges? Cancer, interesting because I usually pull only three energy for your overall energy, but you know, four came out, so we're gonna take it. You have the Ace of Swords, you have the World, you have the Star, and yet you have the Seven of Swords in upright position. There is an idea of you here, okay, about you achieving a full closure over a situation. And I feel there's also an idea that pops out in your head when it comes to the practicality of your life. So maybe you're finding that, oh, maybe I should change up my routines or I should do this as a career. But there's something here of an idea that you have in your mind and if you feel that it's very solid and it could actually lead you to get closer to the things that you've been dreaming of okay now that's the problem see because i feel that and that's also a problem because i notice that when people are so used in dealing with an unhealthy dynamics or an unhealthy relationship they start to have this the unhealthy dynamic that they have starts to get brought up in every areas of their life okay things just could not get stable and i feel that this is a very big important message from your guides here about focus on your end goal cancer because i do see you sabotaging it seven of swords when things are aligning when things are just doing okay and then suddenly with the seven of swords like you're sabotaging and all of a sudden you're doing good you're in your path you're walking towards something that you know is for the betterment of yourself but then seven of swords sabotage because oh wow like this is too boring i need a bit of an emotional um trigger and the things that has been happening with you and your past person especially has been triggering your emotional addiction and again it's been brought up to other areas of your life too i'm afraid now, what are your biggest challenges? You have the Eight of Cups and you also have the Page of Wands in upright position. As, as I mentioned earlier, the moodiness, the swinging, the mood swings of, of like, yep, now I'm determined to do this, but then like, ah, oh, no, it's getting boring. I need something else. Oh, that way you cannot get away from that emotional addiction that you have. This could, again, be about a person or it could just be about your life in general. Okay, now let's talk about this person and you in the past. In the past, this person was a Ten of Cups and also the Nine of Cups. You gave them a relationship of their dream. You gave them a feeling of, wow, like this is my wish fulfillment. This is the kind of love that I've always dreamed about. This, I felt so loved. I felt so seen. I felt so heard. I feel that I'm always getting what I want out of this connection. Cancer, love me truly. But at what cost, Cancer? Interesting, isn't it? This is them. All happy. And yet this is you. Disappointed. Feeling like you're not really being authentic with yourself. Allowing another person to trample all over your boundaries. Feeling like you're in the dark. Feeling like, what's wrong with me? Am I doing less than I should be? Can I do more? Can I be more? We're going to clarify. 
Now, in the present moment, five of wands and also the judgment and our preposition, as I mentioned with the overall energy, right? Like you do have and you still carry a lot of disruptive energy within you. You still carry like a lot of frustration within you. Now, this person in the present moment, ten of wands and also the two of swords, every time they want to do something towards this connection, they stopped. They're like, okay, is it really something that I want to do? Like, let me rethink about it. Because they do have the intention of doing so, but they're like, wait, wait, should I do it? Yeah, let me procrastinate. Let me prolong this decision-making process if this is truly wise for me to do this. In the future, two of pentacles and queen of swords, they keep on procrastinating, man. We're going to clarify, yeah? They keep on procrastinating. They keep on delaying. They keep on moving back and forth, back and forth. You, Empress, and also the High Priestess, I just feel that big things wants to come into your life now with all of these major arcanas that is being laid down in your spread. Okay? I feel that there's something here about you starting to get in tune with yourself, starting to get in tune with your feminine energy, regardless of the gender, but you would start realizing that what is it that you need to feel love? What is it that you need to feel that you're desired? What is it that you need in order for you to bring out the best version of yourself? How is it that you can connect with your intuition without your fear, without your pride getting in the way of you interpreting that? I'm going to clarify, yeah? So I want to clarify the Ten of Wands from their side first. So this person is very much aware of the fact that you're not really letting this person in. Okay, you have been exhibiting a very, very cool um, energy towards them where you're very solid and particular about the way that you want things to be. Does it make them want to do something towards you? Yeah. Yeah. I'm going to clarify the five of ones. But you want more. Especially if this is a relationship that was not solidified into a commitment or kind of like a third party situation kind of stuff. You want more. By you putting that boundaries that kind of like made them stop and put them into a halt and be like, okay, oh, wow, well, like if I want to be with cancer, I can't go back to the same old energy that I was in the past. I can't just prance around and dance around them and just, you know, try to befriend them, trying to pretend like everything is okay with them, trying to be nice with them for a while. No, because at this present moment, Cancer truly wants to have a change. Now let's carve out the Two of Swords here from their side in the present moment. Ten of Pentacles, Knight of Swords, and also the Knight of Pentacles in a position. Huh. Let's clarify the judgment. Wow. Um, the thing is that it's very difficult to make them understand. And I feel that even at this moment, regardless of whatever it is that you have said, whatever it is that you have done towards them, I don't think that, would, that it was in, in, effective enough to a point where they start to reflect you know what i mean because what they're doing is that they feel as if like what's going on like what we had worked i am the person who is relationship minded right now and you're the one that is stubborn you're the one that is being selfish what we had was okay you're the one who's being selfish. You're the one who's only looking out for yourself. I am the person who is relationship-minded. This is what they said, not me. 
I know that it's my get tr you triggered. I'm not the one who says that. That's what they said. Okay, you have a problem, you talk to them, not to me, honey. <laughs> I have nothing to do with it. Okay, now with the judgment, clarify what with the Ace of Wands, Four of Pentacles, and also the Seven of Pentacles in a preposition. Is there ever like this thought of them like, well, maybe I should just give cancer what they want, yeah? But there is also a thought of like, no, I'm just going to keep cancer waiting. I want to see how long would cancer wait. I want to see how long would cancer be stubborn about their decisions to change things up within this connection. Mm, let's clarify. The future. Clarify the two of pentacles. So they're going to be grappling or they're going to be struggling with which one should I choose? Should I really choose my stubbornness, my boundaries and all that? Or should I just give cancer what they want and let this connection grow in the way that it should be? Because I feel that the problem right now and especially in the future when it comes to this connection has nothing to do with outside interference anymore. It has everything to do with them. Them deciding what is it truly that they want. Clarify the Empress from Cancer's side. Very beautiful. There's, because I feel that you have been operating, especially in the past, with a very masculine type of energy, right? Like, I want you, I pursue you, I do everything for you, I do this, do the better. Okay, it's a very masculine energy, you're chasing, pursuing, convincing, taking a lead and everything like that. I feel that in the future, what you guys are going to end up harnessing and restructuring is your ability to receive love. Is your ability to be passive about love and instead of attracting instead of doing things you receive it in the future if you're interested i do feel that you're going to be attracting like a lot of people again sir could be an earth sign towards virgo capricorn the earth sign is going to work in construction something that got to do with engineering or a water sign cancer pisces scorpio Okay, let's clarify the Queen of Swords from their side in the future. <laughs> okay, when it comes to the past person, the person that you are still hung up on and everything like that, I, I, I just don't think that they're going to change, not in the near future. We're going to have to see your next week reading, but I don't see it happening yet. Because I don't know what it is about them and they're very stubborn and they're like, yeah, if things were to be going back to the way it was, I'm going to be down for it. I'm going to be happy about it. Yeah, I they still carry like a lot of feelings for you here, Cancer, but they would like to see you. Stop with the boundaries that you've put on with the changes that you require and all that. Again, you have a standard and criteria now. Things has to be a certain type of way in order for me to want to invest, in order for me to want to compromise, in order for me to want to work it out within this connection again. And you're still checking them out sometimes. Like what is going on with them, what's up with them. Like you, you still do that, like you're observing, but you're very set with your standard. Like, nope, unless things change, I'm not gonna do it. So <laughs> it's, the waiting game here. Let's pull some advice card for you here, Cancer. Mm -hmm. 
First thing first, this is the after tarot deck, so it's going to be very different than the traditional right away tarot. But as you can see here, the Hierophant is very different than the traditional right, right away tarot in terms of this Hierophant is actually showing the book. Okay, I feel that when it comes to this person, um, being passive aggressive, not really communicating with them straightforward on what is it exactly what you want and why you want it and etc is never going to be effective okay however if you've done that and if you feel that it's enough and they've got the message already and it's up okay the second thing that you need to do is that you need to revisit an old friend that you haven't been visiting for a while you want to know what that is is your heart i don't think you've been visiting him or her lately your heart what makes you happy what makes you joyful what makes you wow life is actually great what makes you motivated what makes you inspired what makes you connected i don't think you have been visiting that lately i think you should though especially now that we're in leo season i think you should you're going to be very surprised with how better you would feel once you start visiting your old friend, which is your heart. You're going to be very surprised here, Cancer. Okay? So I think that's it for my, for my reading for you here, guys. I hope that you find tons and tons of clarity that you guys have been looking for. And I look forward to seeing you guys next week for another week new reading. All right, bye-bye, guys. Have a great day. I love you.